All right, guys, welcome back to Subpar Golf. We are out here today at Southern Hills. We're going to be doing nine holes, but the trick is, in this video, if you read the title, we're playing the red tee. So I'm thinking we can go under. I'm thinking, like, the number in mind is about two to three under. Now, I could go over par. I probably will, but the goal is that. Also, if you guys are not already subscribed, please hit that button down below. It helps a lot. Like the video, by the way, even though you haven't seen it yet. I promise it's going to be a good video. But, yeah, uh, first hole, it's a par four. Should be drivable. I'll see you all in the tee box. All right, guys, first hole from the lovely red tees out here. Playing about 240. I got a four iron. Try to hit a little draw up there. Drawing. Go. That made it on the green. I don't know if it sat up there, though. Ooh. Guys, we are 10 high. We're going to have a little eagle butt early here. Not 10 high, a little long, but... All right, this thing's breaking pretty strong. Let's give this eagle putt a run early. This is gonna come back hard at the hole. Go, go, go. Wow, I love how I say I'm gonna give it a run and I'll leave it short, but one under through one from the red tees. Next hole, we got a uh, par three. This next par three is usually like 220 yards from my tees. I think it might be under 100 from the red, so. All right, a little 110 to a back 10. I'm gonna hit a little 56 degree. This grass is actually beautiful up here. Bieber! It's a little right. I think we're pin high though, so. Let's go roll in that birdie putt, baby. Feeling like uh, one of those transgender swimmers up at this tee, just absolutely dominating the field right now. Just putting on a dominant performance from these red tees. All right, I think that's a pretty solid line. Two under through two? Oh! Oh, that's probably the easiest par I've ever made on this hole. Let's go get that par five next. Let's go make eagle here. Oh, I need to go to the reds. All right, they started us off on the right side here, so. Should play well for my draw that I've been kind of hitting, not really. A little low on the face, but that's still mashed. Does that thing need to get down? No, I wouldn't fair away. Should roll back to the right a little bit. <sighs> roll this baby right into the fairway. All right, knock down P-Wedge. Throw something at the green. Maybe get a little cut in there. Sit on it. Or go, I don't know. I think we got like 15, 20 feet for eagle. I almost feel bad for doing this. Like, I don't know why I feel bad. I don't think I feel bad about doing it. I feel bad for getting excited about it. Like, let's see. The yardage I usually play out here is, that is also pretty close for eagle. I usually play 67,000 yards. And right now I'm playing under 5,000. So I should be doing good. All right, guys, this is what we're left with for the eagle. About 10 feet. So I'm thinking that this is gonna go a little right at the hole. Let's go get an eagle. It's probably our best shot we're gonna have all day at one. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, I can't putt, but that's another birdie. That puts us at two under. There are three holes from the red tees. Got a little par four action up next. I'm trying to think of the best way I can describe this right now. This makes me not wanna get really good at golf because it's almost like not fun, if that makes sense. This next hole is playing 273 from the reds. I got a four iron laying up. Oh my God, this hole looks so weird from up here. God, that face is dirty. All right, gonna try to hit pretty straight ball here. And yeah, pulled it a little bit. Don't go in that bunker by the green. Okay, that's way short. That's pretty much the perfect place you wanna be on this hole. Maybe a little farther, but let's go get up and down. Ah, we got a little, uh, what would I say that? That's about, we got it. What am I trying to say? Why don't I just shoot it and learn how far it is instead of just talking out of my butthole? We got 50 yards for an up and down for birdie, so. All right, sun is being covered up by some clouds. We got a little 50 yarder up and down. I got a 56. Land something just short of the green and let it roll up there. Oh, 
or on the green. Sit, sit. Not great. So we got this for birdie. This thing's gonna snap hard when it gets going down that hill. Here's an idea. Okay, that got there. I thought I left that way short, but. Easy par, two under, three four. Oh, it is 100, 138 yards. I'm hit a gap wedge. Speed it to low, let it go. Mm, maybe I took too much off of that. Go. Oh, dear. Got to get up and down now. Okay, I'm an idiot because that was 140 yards and I just hit like a smooth gap wedge for some reason, which is a club I hit like 130 yards. So, yeah, that one is a, that's a skill issue on mine. Got, gotta be smarter than that. Well, time to see if I have that dog in me or not. I should funnel back to the left a little bit. Okay. It funnels back to the left after the hole. Good to know. I'll put that in my memory bank for next time I play this hole. All right, this is a putt just looking at it. I'm like, okay, we're gonna bogey a hole because this putt has not been friendly to me ever. But I've had this putt enough to where I should at least be able to give it a decent little chance to go in. Ball in the hole, ball in the hole. Just barely gonna have to hit it all downhill. Go in, go in, go in, ba-chang. Up and down par. I wish I did that a little more often, but we're still two under. Let's go get a birdie. All right, thought I left that putt short because when I got really close to the hole, I started being able to read what was on the ball. And when that happens, usually you're gonna leave the putt short, but it just barely dipped in there. So still two under, 261. All right, let's get it. I'm hitting a little hybrid. Think, think I have wind into me, not really sure. Okay. Try to cut it a little bit. Yeah, cut a little bit. I think that wind's gonna have to grab that because I hit that so hot. It landed, I never saw it land. All right, I never saw that thing drop. Never heard it hit either. But it should be up by the green. I don't think it's over because I hit it really high. The wind should have eaten it. Okay, I got it. We're just off the green. So we're gonna have to do a little up and down magic. This thing did plug on me. Oh, move that right there. Hit something low and let it roll up. Give us an easy tap in for birdie. Now I say that, probably not gonna happen, but a boy can dream. Big bounce. Ooh, okay. I caught that really clean off that turf. Felt like I thinned it. This is our look for the bird. Should come back to the left a little bit. Okay, hope that's the line. Gotta get it there. Go in. All right, that is three under through, three under through six. Go into my arch nemesis hole, which is hole number seven, par four. Hopefully it's gonna be easier from the reds though. Ooh, these bumps are making me have to compete. I think this hole is low-key easier than hole nine out here. I hate hole nine out here. It owns me. Let's get this birdie first on this hole. One hole at a time. Not trying to get ahead of myself. Oh, that's a big hole. All right, guys. This thing says it's playing 335 on the cart. So if I drive the green, it's going to be like the biggest on him performance I've ever put on. Uh, that was not good. I love how Sam about to like put on an I'm him performance and then I pull the ball like almost at a 90 degree angle. The only thing that I think even gave it hope was it went through the bunker first. So that should have slowed it down a little bit. But um, birdie chances on this one, not looking great. All right, here's the situation so that y'all can't see the green from where I'm about to hit this ball. But I'm gonna go put the GoPro on the green in case I do something crazy. Gotta make sure I get it on camera, so. I already told y'all what the situation was in the cart, so. Hopefully y'all get a nice shot of this going in the hole. Mm, leaking a little right. And it doesn't look like we're gonna birdie that putt. If I roll this in, that'd be pretty crazy. Am I gonna roll it in? Probably not. Let's just get it close for an easy two putt. 
Bombs away, baby. Nope. Let's go get an eagle on this next par five. Watch me miss this. Shoot. All right. Ugh. All right, we are still three under, two holes left. I'd say I'm getting like a 100 yard bump maybe. Let's just say I'm there. Yeah, not even a 100 yard bump here. So like 80 yards or so. We're actually gonna have to grind to get this birdie. Just hold dog legs to the left. So you're gonna wanna hit a draw. I think me though, I'm gonna almost wanna go straight at the hole. Cause I think if I hit anything straight, it's gonna go OB. So, gonna start it at that first tree out on the right. Big high draw here. Oh yeah. Well, that is, it's not every day I do exactly what I said I was gonna do. I am so excited to see where that ball went. That was hit perfect. All right, that drive feels good because that drive would have been really good for any team box, I think. Where it at though? No. Where it at though? No. Oh yeah, we hit a bomb. Gonna have like a gap wedge into the green. Let's see what we're about to have into a little pot five. All right, we got 120 to it. I think I'm gonna hit a full 53 degree. I think, that's the plan, full 53 degree. All right, we had, what did I say, 122 in, land it short and let it go. Ooh, push that a little right, that should be pin high though. Not pin high, okay. Never mad about a putt. Now we have like a 50 foot putt for Eagle. Let's go two putt it. All right, this thing is gonna slide big time to the left. To the left now, y'all. Why, an Eagle would be awesome. 90% chance I two putt, 9% chance I three putt, 1% chance I one putt. Odds brought to you by DraftKings. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, not gonna lie. This is gonna put us at four under with one hole left. And I said my goal was five under, so. Let's see if we can work our craft. Time to conquer hole number nine, baby. I know y'all are loving the pants that I'm wearing. I bought them yesterday, and I shouldn't be wearing them right now. It was like 100 degrees out here at one point, but look good, feel good, play good. I did already get a stain on them, so I'm gonna need my mom to uh, get that one out. So mom, please get my stain out of my pants. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, you would have already gotten them out for me, so I love you. So while at one point on this channel, I've hit my driver like 320 every time I'd get up to the plate. I don't know how far I hit my driver now because the stealth broke, but. So I don't know how far a driver goes now. I'm hitting this old XR. Hopefully I can hit a cut, even though probably not gonna cut. But that's the shot shape here. I'm gonna start this thing over the trees, which is scary because that's OB, but it's gotta come back. Murph's law, what can happen will happen. Shout out Matt Damon and Interstellar. Wow. They did exactly what I wanted it to do. Did I just make a four? Did I just make a four? If that landed, I never saw it. But I swear that was cutting on the perfect line. That looked so good. Yeah, we are, uh, I threw this thing up here like pin high, so. That is pretty freaking good. Not pin high, but like just a little short of the green. Should be an easy up and down. I say should be, I can easily mess it up. All right, up and down for birdie. I practiced these, this is easy. thought I made that. Now that needed to sit. Okay. I think this thing is going to come to the left just a little bit. Find like wide end. Go, go, go. 500, baby. Uh, 500 from the red teeth. That is, it's pretty solid. Um, Could have done a lot worse. Could have done a little bit better. Some holes I just, I don't know what I'm saying. 